fact, I have to ask you to use your common sense because I can't see your physical states. Um, the, it's very easy, but please, if you need to sit down or you're feeling tired or unwell or you're not quite up for it, then just, just go very, very gently because you don't need to be overstretching and exerting yourself, okay? So, and you don't need any tools or anything like that. So, um, let me just see it now. How is that? Does that, can you see me okay? Yeah, perfect. Okay. So the first exercise that we're just going to do is the idea of this class is that we're linking in on some of the absolute basic components of how the body stays healthy. As I said earlier, the first thing is purge and nourish. The body needs to eliminate anything that doesn't serve it. Emotional patterns, toxicity, when things get stuck in the body overnight with sleeping, things tend to settle in a bit. So the very first exercise we do is called shaking the tree. Okay, and literally, you're working to just dislodge anything that's got stuck kind of whilst we've been asleep. This is why we tend to do Qigong first thing in the morning. Um, the energy of the day is yang, it's ascending and it's, it's strong energy and you want to bring that into the body. I also recommend that you have a window open because you need good breath. And please work within the parameters of what you can do. So if you can really shake, that's great. So, and if you can't, you can do this sitting down and you can just kind of loll your tree more like this. But basically, this is a very invigorating exercise. It's also very good to do if you're getting an energy slump in the afternoon, if you've been sent to sit down for too long, you know, as we're all indoors so much. So, and you can really, oh, you just want to get to all the nooks and crannies of the body. There we go. And then, now we start to tap. And you use a loosely clenched fist and we just start on the lungs. And this is a very important thing to do because the immune system, which we need to be paying very close attention to at the, at the moment, for immune cells to be optimized, they need to be allowed to flow smoothly through your body. And therefore by tapping, we go down the inner arm. What we're looking to do here is to just ensure that nothing's got stuck. To be healthy, you need to have the free flow of chi and blood around the body. That means it can't settle anywhere. If it's starting to settle, it means that's when you start to get pain. And the other aspect of tapping is brilliant in many, many ways. But when you're tapping the long bones, which are in your arms and legs, you're invigorating stem cells, which is again vital within the immune system, but also for keeping the body young. So the Chinese masters, would do body tapping for about 10 minutes before and after vigorous exercise. So if you like going to do vigorous exercise, you know, like running or hard cycling or, you know, hard workouts, it's very important that you tap before and afterwards to get the body back into a relaxed state. So we go round the abdomen again, really good for the immune system as those lymph nodes, especially down in the adrenal areas here, very good for belly fat. We go in a clockwise direction. The key thing about Qigong is that you're stimulating the organs. And if you look after your organs, your organs will look after you. And this is when you start to get the shape starts to appear back in your body. Because your body gets out of shape because it's not healthy. And it's not healthy because there's a problem with the organs. So you've got to start with the organs and get them back. So you can properly drum, get around the hips. And now we go down the outside and up the inside of our legs like this. Breathe. When we breathe with Qigong, breathe down into the lower belly, okay? That, this is the energetic center. You wanna breathe and smile. And you go to your lower back, not too high. And then just massage your kidneys. This is really where the tapper comes in so useful because now this is when you can tap your upper back very easily. But don't worry because most of you won't have tappers. So just use your hands, this is fine. Breathe. Then take it over the head. And down. And then just do a little bit of extra tapping on our thymus, which is just here. Tend to use, if you've got boobs, use a bit of a pincer movement, otherwise go like that. 
the thymus has a big responsibility to the immune system. And breathe. Just tap the sides. This is really important for the spleen. It also has a massive relationship with the immune system again. And now just take a deep breath in and go. And breathe in. And breathe in. And now with each breath that we take throughout the rest of the class, I want you to breathe in and really focus your attention down here. This is called the Dantian. This is the energetic center of the body. And this is where we make the chi, okay, the energy. So we breathe in and we smile throughout the class, okay? We're a pretty happy bunch in this class. <laughs> They'll get you smiling and laughing all the way through. So smile, and then we're just gonna twist. We're just going to twist as far around as you can go. Please don't hurt yourself or hyperextend or overwork. But if you can twist, because you're used to it, then please go all the way around like this. And then you can twist up onto your shoulders as well. Smile and breathe. We're just making sure now that all of the circulation, anything that we don't want now, is now firmly into the blood and the lymph and that we've now started to energize the cells. So what you'll notice if you just take a check on yourself is that the body just kind of feels alive. It's got life force and that's what chi means and that's exactly what we're looking for. This is energy. This is your body feeling good. This is what we're aiming for, okay? This is what we've forgotten, how nice this feels. And now to go further into this, we now add what we call the healing sounds because now we're in a position to really oomph up the vibration because now we've got the kind of the crud out of the body that we don't want. Now we're looking to really start to strengthen up the chi so that the chi that we're then orbiting around the body is vibrating and harmonious and happy and full of positivity because that's what we want circulating around our body. So you just use your fingertips and we're just gonna go into something called the healing sounds. There are five key organs in the body which basically take the kind of the center stage with our health and each one has a color and it has a high emotion attached to it. And where the intention goes, the chi flows. So we're going to get our minds in gear now. We're going to smile. We're going to breathe. We're going to think white. And we're going to think gratitude. And we're going to make the sound. And now go to your heart, <clears throat> think red, think joy, think universal love. Ha. Ha. And now we go to your left, okay? Your left, <clears throat> this is the spleen. Think yellow, <clears throat> think trust. And we're gonna tap the spleen. This is your left-hand side. And we're going to go. Oh. Then you go to your right hand side, this is your right, and we're going to the liver, and we're going to think green, we're going to think kindness, and we're going to go And then go around to your back. This is your kidneys. We're going to think black. We're going to think wisdom. And we're going to smile and we're going to go. Choo. 
Then we're going to take our sides, we're going to rub our sides, we're going to go. This is the other side of the heart, it's all the same emotions. This is joy, love, and red. And then you take your index finger and your main finger and you just go clockwise over the third eye. Take your attention there. We're just going to repeat the sounds. We're just going to log them. We're just literally just drawing the body upwards, okay? The mankind is a fusion of heaven and earth. And when we do Qigong, we're drawing in energies from the sky and from the environment around us, from the, from the earth up and from the sky down. And these healing cells are very much at the spiritual end of the practice, but they have a massive impact on the body. Uh. And now just tap the top of your head, just breathe, be grateful. Be grateful for your practice, be grateful to the universe, for every breath in your body. There. And now what you'll notice from that is just take a check in and just notice how you feel. And I'd like to describe this as, as gracious. That's how I feel my body feels when I've done the healing sounds. I feel sort of <coughs> full of a kind of higher energy and a sort of a very grounded happiness. This is what we want the body to feel like. Excuse me. <coughs> this is what we want the body to feel like all the time. And the healing sounds take you back there. The healing sounds are also really good to do before bed to encourage a really good night's sleep. They allow the chi and the blood to be in harmony, quite literally. Um, so then having done that, what we're looking to do is um, we now add in this laughter jigong, which has become quite a big deal. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, that's obviously dislodged something. <coughs> Um, um, sorry, the vibrations have done something to my throat. That's, a, that's obviously a good sign. Um, so what we're looking to do now is we add in what's now become this very famous laughter jigong. And what we're looking to do is we're going to flood this lovely vibration that the body's now got. The body now feels in tune. And I want to like whack in loads of endorphins to make it very powerful. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to start laughing and just laugh at me, okay? And just give it your best shot. You'll feel really self-conscious, but don't worry about it. Just keep going. Okay, and you'll notice the feelings up. So, ready and. <laughs>
Tummy at the same time, it's really good to get that belly laugh down into this belly brain down here. <laughs> I promise you, this exercise gets easier and easier as you do it every day. But if you now notice, if we just stop, <clears throat> can you notice how lovely the body feels? It's like flooded with this lovely, positive, vibrant, very rich chi life force energy, which is in full of endorphins and this is what we want circulating around our chi and our blood this is incredibly powerful the great Mantak Chi himself said that laughter qigong was without question the best possible breathing exercise known to mankind um, and there are thousands of breathing exercises in qigong but that suffice to say that that one is really good so now that we've got that lovely laughter energy I want you to take a note of how you feel with that this is how our bodies want to be this is a strong body and there's so much research done into laughter that we know categorically that happy bodies, which are full of this very strong life force, it's much harder for them to get sick. And it's very good for regulating moods to dealing with sort of, you know, depression and anxiety. Um, so it's a very, very good exercise to do. It also just makes you a happier, nicer person to be around. I've noticed since doing laughter Qigong on an absolute daily basis that my family life seems to have got better. The children seem to have picked up on the positive energy that I'm bringing to them and everything just seems a bit happier. So it's a very good exercise to do. Now we've got that in, I ask you to stand with your feet shoulder width apart and just lean. We're just going to turn the waist, as it's called. Please don't overextend. Do what you can do. The idea is to lean as far backwards as you do forwards. It's very difficult to do that, but just go as far back as you can and just enjoy. Just breathe. Remember to keep that lovely giggly energy. Smile. Smile down into the lower belly. Breathe. Breathe, smile. Twist. Close your eyes even. Just notice. How lovely this feels around this middle area. Qigong is very good at strengthening these middle organs, which we're dealing with now is the spleen, the small intestine, the duodenum, the liver, the gallbladder, the kidneys. They're all linked on this muscle group around the diaphragm, which is where we're working right now. Breathe. Go the other way, breathe and smile. Breathe. And smile. Breathe one more. <coughs> Excuse me. Breathe and smile. And notice just how lovely these exercises feel. That's what's so nice. They're so pleasurable. Um, and now we stand with our feet together. And this one's called lifting the sky. Now we've got this energy really well rooted inside the body. We're going to work around the microcosmic orbit, which is this basically, it's the channels of the Ren and the Du channels, which go up and down the body. The, it's like the basic duo of the body, because we want to get that energy just moving in its base level before we start add, adding anything else. So we're going to breathe, stretch, breathe in, up onto tiptoes if you can, pull everything in, and then breathe out and down. Pull everything in, everything's tight, legs are tight. Pelvic floor's tight. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. You can half close your eyes. Stretch. Breathe out. Take your attention inside your body. Qigong originally was an extension of meditation. 
Smile and breathe. Stretch. And down, breathe out. And go the other way. Lift, breathe in. Breathe out. I seem to have lost my ability to balance, I don't know why. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. This exercise leaves you feeling very much relaxed yet energized, which is what we're looking for. That's exactly how you sort of feel like your posture is correct and everything down the back. It's because you've been working on these very deep meridians and it gives you a very strong structure to the body. And now we go to more of the cardiovascular end of the Qigong. That's what I love about these exercises. We've now cleared anything that we don't really want. We've allowed that to go into the circulatory systems to come out and we've tuned up what we want to bring in and we've done some deep breathing and we've hooked that, that lovely laughter energy and all the endorphins deep into the body circuits. Now we've done that, we now want to move it all the way around the body. And this exercise is called Swimming Dragon. It's very much aimed at creating the S shape that you would see going down the yin yang symbol. You stand with your feet together, everything pulled in, hands in prayer, looking for right angles. Breathe in, put your hips to one side and your arms to the other. You're now creating a tension down the side of the body and you simply pull your tummy in and swap sides so that you're creating like an S shape that goes down the middle of the body. And this S shape is like the dragon's tail. This is a swimming dragon. Now I can't see you, so I don't know what your level of movement is. If you're in any shape or form inhibited by your movements then or restricted, then just stay here, pull your tummy in and really think that you're a dragon and that you're swimming against the current. So just don't just sort of do that, that won't do anything. But this really swimming really works and you're really, really rooting this S shape and then if you can, you take it down to the floor. This is when it starts to give you this lovely sculpted, lifted effect. It works on giving you a lovely waist, on a nice perky bum, nice shapely thighs, and it works very much on the kidneys of the body, which are about your aging process, your energy levels, hair loss, memory loss, tinnitus, bone density, menopause, fertility, anything to do with any of those things. The kidneys are very much about the balance and the yin and yang of the body. And we just do that again. And what you're also doing is you're creating a very simple S shape, which is gonna get mirrored across every cell of the body. This, this exercise really brings in balance and harmony. And also what you'll start to notice if you do this two or three times with me, is that this is where you start to get this kind of light perspiration which is what you're looking for from these gentle exercises. It gives you that exercised feeling that we like, where you feel like you've had a little workout. Otherwise you don't feel like you've done anything. So I say to the people watching on the classes each morning, if you want more of an exercise feeling by the end of the class, just repeat this in the next exercise two or three times, and you will notice that you'll get that feeling that you have at the end of exercise, which is what we're after but we're approaching it from a much more internal way. It's not calories in versus calories out and all that. This is about getting the chi into our organs and strengthening the body from the inside out. And if you look after your organs, your organs, oops, indeed, will look after you. So, and can you feel that with that exercise, there's ever such a slight breathlessness and that's what you're after. That's why this is coming towards the end of the session. Um, and then what we do is the very last one that we do is we um, ideally have something to hold in our hands. So I'm just going to grab 
a couple of restorers that I've got here, but don't worry if you don't have anything. It's just the object of this exercise is to keep your hand facing up at all times. So don't break off. If you've got something to hand, like some socks or any old thing, just basically keep it in your hands. And then what we're looking to do <clears throat> is, this is horse stance. So you stand with your feet wide apart. You're going to be doing a big movement now. So you want to have as much space as you possibly can. Breathe, keep your hand facing up. This is where it matters. When you do this movement now, you're really working. Again, we're making big circles, big S shapes. This is a very powerful exercise, which is why I include it. It's brilliant for sculpting the waist, for working the thighs, for strengthening the kidneys, for stretching every single fascia, and muscle and breathing into every organ of the body. Remember to breathe. Breathing in, smile. Remember the laughter. It's so important to enjoy what we're doing. There's no willpower involved in these exercises. They're pleasurable. The body goes, oh, this is nice. Oh, I like that. Which means you do it. Especially because you can do it in your pyjamas. <laughs> I have to get some mascara on before I stop. I cannot stress enough how doing these exercises on a daily basis has just transformed so many people now who've been following these since the beginning of lockdown. And every single person, because we're putting the testimonials up onto our social media, without question says, I couldn't believe it. I wasn't convinced. I, didn't, I, I couldn't quite work out how. And yes, I did it. And now I can't believe it. And uh, the results are, I mean, the results that people keep talking about are improved sleep, improved mood, ability to have navigated their way through the horrors of lockdown and felt just about to care about it, less pain, weight loss, inch lost, more energy, more vitality, happier. These are the things, this is what you get with Nurture Life. It's not a quick fix. It's not, a, it's not a substitute for Western medicine advice, but it's a grassroots approach to your health. You're going in deep into the organs. You're strengthening the chi day by day by day. <clears throat> what you'll notice at the end of this class is this lovely, relaxed, yet energized. There's the instant reward. It's like, oh, I feel nice. Oh, I feel good. And then slowly but surely, these other little signs and symptoms will just start to ebb away. Here we go. And then we just finish, always finish with tapping. Always, always finish with tapping no matter what you do. So if you have a tapper, of course, this is the moment to use it. But if not, please don't worry. And we just take the breath. We always want to get the body settled back. It's always about transitioning. But what you'll notice if you just again check in, Oh, the body feels strong, upright, energized, kind of like it's got lovely sort of spring water in it. That's what we're looking for. These are the sort of the basic 10 exercises. They take about half an hour to do every single day, every morning. Just do this. It makes such a difference. And then what I've been saying to my, my audience who've been following me very kindly, that, you know, we're allowed to go out and exercise, go out for a cycle, go out for a walk. Now we've got unlimited exercise, it's even better. But you know, get out, get fresh air. Always make sure you have a window open when you practice this. These exercises are all about strengthening the chi. Chi is life force. This is gonna give you energy. It's gonna make you feel alive and happy. And I think that's one of the reasons everyone likes it, because it's nice and simple, feels good, you feel exercise, and it takes half an hour. And it fits in, it's not too onerous. But for those who are inspired and more interested, then, this is when I recommend that you go on and study the 12 rivers, which will then give you what I've just done, and then you add on the 12 minutes, one minute per organ, and then you really are a business. So that pretty much is the end of the class.